Let's practice some multiplications using paper and pen, which we normally don't do, but this is just for practice and for checking in the beginning till we get pretty good at this, which won't take very long, and then you'll never need pencil and paper for this stuff again. We're going to take 10 playing cards. The 10 will represent the digit zero. All the rest will be their normal numbers except for the ace, which will be the one. So if we have this as zero, now we've got the digits from zero to nine represented by the playing cards. Don't use jacks, queens, or kings. Shuffle them up. Whoops. And deal them out as one long number. Now in your mind, pick a number that you'd like to multiply this large number by a number that you'd like to practice. Let's try the number three because it's really easy in the beginning. So we're going to multiply this entire number by three. Normally we'd start from left to right using MathMojo, but not everybody watching this video knows MathMojo. It's easier, but not everybody knows it. Most people learn the school method from left to right. So let's use that, although it's nowhere near as good. Anyway, we're going to multiply this whole number by three. Three, starting here, 3 times 3, as you know, is 9. There's nothing to carry. 3 times 8 is 24. We would normally write a carry, but we don't. With Math Mojo, we never write the carry. Even if you're not doing Math Mojo, try not to write the carry unless you're being graded on it in school. So the 2 from the 24 in the tens column will carry in our heads. Never write it. This is a zero. Zero times three is zero, with the carry of two, adds up to two. This is a one. One times three is three. That's easy enough. Two times three is six, still no carries. Six times three is 18. The carry is in our head. Three times five is 15, with the carry of one is 16 but we keep that carry of the 16 in our heads. 4 times 3 is 12, with a carry is 13, carrying the 1. 7 times 3 is 21, with the 1 is 22, carrying a 2 in our head. 9 times 3 is 27, with the 2 in our head is 29. You can write this here, because you're not carrying, you're actually just writing the final answer. You can put your commas in, if you like. They're not necessary. There's no law that says you need commas. It just makes it much easier to read the number. I suggest you use commas, but people should never take points off if you don't. They just do in school. Don't ask me why. So our answer to this number multiplied by 3 is 29,236,000. 249. I could multiply, I just can't count. Let's check if this is right. 